Where do you come from? Is it safe? Do you know the people that you're around? Do you know and love and trust them anyway? The people that you want to talk to, they're not gonna find out about your soul. The soul that you kept a secret and you're on American life for these many hours. Where do you even show up? What is your human life? What happens is that people with souls know about the life that they have. And the wars on board the patrol right now keep on getting fucked with on my fucking radio stations. And nobody's talking about them without being a paintbrush. So where do we go? More and more people are finding out that the way that you live isn't going to be more powerful than what people were going to be a part of. But I can know the videos of what you thought you said you did and where you thought you were going to be. I know the answer of who you are and where you believed you could be a part of this life with. <coughs> who do you know about? Where do you come from? What is it the big deal about living in San Diego? Well, in San Diego, they started the Neighborhood Watch. That's where it started, and there's not really cops out there. But, what happens is that everybody knows the police are gangsters. So what do you think is going on with it, is when you attack the police, you have to know the answer, which is that they're evil as fuck. So everybody who knows about who they said they are, is that nobody knows that who you said you were going to be is that you were going to be strong. Who you said you were going to be is that you said that you were going to know that you saw that you were really strong before. <clears throat> I get the microphone and I get really tired of everything, but I've got polio and I've got a lot of the shit that's wrong with me. But I'm saying that in an Oregon Humane Society. Everybody who knows about who they think they said they are is that you can see that I can be doing something that gets popular and famous and that you think that in some kind of a world you're allowed to tell me that I'm not allowed to express myself and tell you who, who I am and what I'm doing. But I'm not a fucking communist and you're an evil fucking piece of shit. Who you think you say you are is that I don't get art that becomes famous and therefore lose control of my art. What you think you do. Stop communicating with fucking humans. You're not who we say we are. So where you think you say you are and what you think you want to know is that you have to stop fucking keeping your soul a secret when you're living about your fucking life. The dialogue that the fucking socialists built surrounding you meant that the first fucking token of someone being a real expressive individual was them saying the most fucking evil shit you could have fucking imagined out loud to you because you let them fucking pretend to be around you and be your friend. Ever they love said, oh they knew, and they knew of them, said that they were good, and then they said that I was bad, but then I said that I'm winning at the fights that I can have, and I said that I would win in this American world. We know that the answer is, everybody who knows about love is the stronger person. So who do you come to? Do you know that when you knew about love and you loved somebody else, you don't have to know about who you thought you said you were? I don't know the answer and I can't believe in who you think you said you were? Everybody's messing with the sound of my voice right now and I didn't know a lot of little kids were going to do that. But everybody who said that, who they think they said they are, they're acting like I'm not allowed to sound hardcore. But the sounds that I'm making is really strong and everybody who said that they're is good. But everybody who's telling the truth of what they said, doesn't have to believe in who they think they said they were and who they think they said they are again. Who you know about who you said you wanted to be was that it's easy enough for you to tell me that you wanted me to tell you it was me. So okay. Well who you think you said you do and who you think you said you want to be is that nobody has to believe in what you said you did. But everybody said that you guys didn't know that the rest of the world is here a really different way of how they, they said that was me. So who the, they said that was strong is that you heard a lot of powder of baby's life but you have to know that when you paid attention it was fucking with my body because you kept thinking it sounded a certain way and I didn't know that that was the way I was talking when I first recorded that 
Everybody else has to know about what has happened. Which is that everybody who said that they were that they were real samurai. So who you think that you had to know is that nobody believed in what you were going to do. And the rest of it. So why you had to believe in what you did? What you thought that you were going to do is what you had to believe in the first time that you said that you were good. What if you were a human person and you were called good? Well, if nobody said the sound like they loved you, then nobody actually called you good. They're not really saying it. Yeah, but you didn't really say I was good. Yeah, but I've said and you don't believe me. I said that when I was gonna talk, I was gonna get tired, but they just got too hot in my room. And I don't know what to do. My name's Hanukkah from the club, and I'm still surrounded from home. My, son, my family's trying to make it safe for a live lion, but they love me in the humane society, and it's terrible out here. But I gotta get the microphone and get water. Love everybody, it's good. Bye.